Hi everyone, Karen here from Holistic Essentials Therapy and Consulting, bringing to you this week's forecast, energy forecast and spiritual insights for Monday the 4th of October through until Sunday the 10th of October 2021. What a big week that we have ahead. There are six planets in retrograde at the moment and as we move into this week, we also have the lead up to the new moon in Libra, which is occurring in the Southern Hemisphere at 10.05 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time on the 6th of October. And we're also obviously in the season of Libra. And we have much influence from Mercury being in retrograde and Mars is following the sun. So Mars is streaming its energy down towards us and we are being asked to slow down, to reflect and to honor, I guess, what are the transitions and changes that have occurred for you from October last year through until April this year? Because the influence of Pluto in this new moon in Libra, it's all about transition. It's about death and rebirth. And so taking time to acknowledge how much you've shifted, how much you've changed. Perhaps you have realigned your values. Perhaps you have reset your priorities. It's an important time to acknowledge the growth that you on a personal and spiritual level have achieved. And there's no, you know, it doesn't have to be this huge transformational awakening. Doesn't mean that you've ascended instantly, but you're going through and have been going through a metamorphosis and individually that will take place only as quickly as you are ready for it to take place. All integration happens in alignment with, you know, your experience as this human, beautiful human being living the human experience. And on a soul level, we also have the influence of Jupiter with this new moon. So that's all about abundance and manifestation. And so the invitation for you is to really get clear, make it intentional to acknowledge and honor all the abundance that you have in your life. Now, abundance is everywhere. It's the leaves on the trees, it's the blades of grass on the, on the lawn or on a meadow or in the park. It's the beautiful flowers that are flowering. It's the clouds in the sky. It's the blue sky, the vastness of that, the stars at night. There is so much abundance available for you right now for you to attune your attention and frequency and energy to. And that will help to embody that so that it then flows out into your everyday life. Libra is an air sign. And so this is a powerful time for inspired ideas to be creative, to really tap into that and allow it to flow through to you. With Mercury influencing at the moment as well, and especially with you know, the energy of Libra, Librans loving to chat and talk and everything else. It's really important to be mindful of what it is you're actually talking about and who it is that you're talking about. And is that serving you and is that serving them? It's important also to be mindful of your energy this week really have a look and take stock of where are your energy leaks? Who is your energy going to? What is your energy going to? And it's about really finding that sense of balance and harmony within yourself. You know, the question to ask yourself is where are you compromising yourself in your boundaries in order to be the peacekeeper? 
healthy boundaries is not only beneficial for you but it's also incredibly beneficial for the people around you you know there's nothing worse than thinking that how you are being and who you are is okay with the people around you and i'm not saying you have to change yourself only then to find out that you've overstepped you've overstepped a, a, someone else's boundary or the way that you've been interacting isn't reciprocated or appreciated and so this is the same for you you know it's not fair on another person for them to continue the way that they are if it doesn't sit well with you if it's not serving you and not tell them not let them know the biggest lesson that I've learned in my life is that if I don't speak up for myself, if I don't set my own healthy boundaries, if I don't say what my needs and expectations are, who else will actually know that? How can anybody else around you know that if you don't actually tell them? There is a beautiful energy around this new moon. You know, it's light. It's free flowing and, you know, it's influenced by air. So how can you be lighter? How can you bring a lightness into your thoughts and your heart and your actions and your deeds? The other, um, it's about setting boundaries. I'm like listening. <laughs> I'm like, what else would you like me to say? There are a lot of, there are a lot of cosmic shifts and the influence also of Mars is that real fiery, passionate energy. It's motivating, it's energizing, and this can really support you if you tune into that to bring in a sense of momentum and motivation into your life and support you in taking the steps and actions that are required for you to make the changes that you know that you need to make. Okay. All right, if you'd like to place your hand on your heart. And when you do this, you're activating your heart chakra. So let's just take a moment to breathe in. Breathing into your heart center. Can we teach you and share with you the following theta downloads? I understand what it feels like to flow with life. I understand what it feels like and I know how to breathe the essence of life. I know what it feels like and I know how to recognize the abundance that's all around me and I know how to open my heart to receive abundance. I know what it feels like to give and receive in balance. And I know what it feels like to be harmonious in my body. I am harmonious. I know what it feels like to move with change freely and effortlessly, to be excited about the future. I know what it feels like to expand my consciousness to recognize the gifts in all of my learnings and teachings and life experiences. I know what it feels like to be grounded. I know what it feels like to be comfortable in who I am. I know what it feels like to be comfortable in my body. I know what it feels like to be comfortable in my heart. And I know what it feels like to lovingly express my needs and to set healthy boundaries and I know what it feels like to have harmony within all of my relationships I know this is possible for me say yes to receive take a deep breath in
The gift really of this new moon is to give you the opportunity to find better alignment in your life. What's working for me and what's not working for me? Ask those questions. And then tune into the energy of Mars to support you in making those changes. The energy of Pluto to provide you with the momentum to transition and change. And the energy of Jupiter to be awakened and alert to the abundance that is already available to you in all areas of your life. So what I'm doing is I'm asking for the goddess that would like to step forward to support you throughout the week ahead. And by this, I mean you can meditate with this beautiful goddess energy. You can invite her into your life, your heart, and ask her to guide you and to reveal her presence to you. Okay. Oh, beautiful Saint Bridget. So I have the Inspire Believer Thrive Factor archetype in my archetypal profile. And the Inspire Believer is aligned to the Goddess Bridget, a lady of exalted light. I give endlessly because the light is without end. My soul is all I need. Isn't that beautiful? So she is here to guide you. This is so powerful. She is here to guide you this week in recognizing your own light, in supporting you, in connecting to the voice of your soul, to hearing the voice of your soul, and to also support you in recognizing the light within others because we are not separate. We are all connected. Do unto others as you would have done to you. Treat others the way that you want to be treated. And I endlessly give light, give the light. It is without end. You know why? That's because it doesn't come solely from you. The light is your divine essence connected to source consciousness and that is infinite the light within you is infinite the light that you share in the world is infinite it's not coming from the small you it's coming from the big you my soul is all i need it's so true your soul the overlay of your soul, your soul overlay. The more that you can tune into the light within you, the more expanded your soul's light and truth becomes, allowing you to be more open and receptive to receiving its wisdom. So I hope that that all serves you well. St. Bridget, she's beautiful. As always, please be kind and gentle with yourselves and with others. And we're all doing the very best that we can right now with the resources that we have available to us. If you're needing support, reach out. Reach out to an energetic healer, be it myself, a therapist, someone in your community, your family. You're not in this alone. Namaste, blessed be. See you next week.